Head in the game, head in the game. My name is Turbo. I just wanted to go a little faster. A little far from home, aren't you? Garden snail. The brains behind it, David Soren, Canada Zone. David Soren, director, writer. Can I just say how much I love this movie? I have been going on and on that is and great on to hear. for the last two minutes. It is hilarious, <laughs> and it's not just because I'm a big kid. I mean, it's got the adult humor. How did you think up this lowly little snail, the underdog, in this capacity? You'd never liken a snail to race car. <laughs> yeah, no, driving. it's funny. You know, it, it came out of. Uh, out of my six-year-old son, who has been obsessed with all things fast since before he was uh, even able to talk, zoom in his little race cars around my living room. Yeah. And then I go out into the front yard, and I had a snail problem. <laughs> so it was really kind of combining these two very contrasting uh, elements of uh, speed and slow into this character of a snail who dreams of racing glory. And like I identified with a lot of the characters, so I, I know for sure kids will. What do you hope your son? would get out of this in terms of the many messages that are in the film on right. top of all the laughter and the racing and the good stuff like that. Sure. Well, you know, obviously it's, a, it's an underdog story and the message uh, of Turbo is just this character who's completely focused singularly on this dream of his to win the Indianapolis 500 and just, uh, you know, the theme is dream big, dream big, don't give up on your dreams. And, uh, you know, it was wonderful watching the movie with my kids finally on uh, Tuesday night in New York. And it, it was the first, they've seen lots of little bits of it, but not for the whole thing strung together. together. And uh, I've gone to a lot of movies with them. And usually after the popcorn is finished, they start to squirm around yes. and start to climb on me. And, you know, how long is this? How much longer? They're captivated the they whole time. They were riveted. And it was so, it was the best, best most satisfying thing of the whole experience of making the movie. And brilliantly cast, voice cast. Let's talk Thanks, about your yeah. dream ensemble cast here. Snoop Dogg, we've got yeah. Mr. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, no, it was crazy. I mean, my first feature and uh, to have this kind of cast, it was just a dream come true. We, Some of them I, I had in mind as I was writing the script, like Snoop and, uh, and Michelle Rodriguez and Louis Guzman. And you never know if you're going to get these people. So to have the ones you've imagined from the get-go kind of be in the movie and supporting it like this, Unreal. The soundtrack's awesome, and you hear Snoop do his thing there, but he's also a really great voice actor. Yeah. Did you find it was really easy for him to transition into this? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a pro, and he's, he's acted, you know, a number of times before, and, and I, uh, you know, I brought him in, and I was, I was pitching him the story, and I had a big flip book full of artwork, and he's kind of looking at it, and his eyes are bugging out, and he's just <laughs> like, wow, pretty colors. Do you think he will turn this into a franchise? Because I can't give too much away, but you brilliantly weave modern technology and all these characters and adult situations and child situations. It's just, it makes you feel happy, and it's just a fun ride, literally. So I want to see more. How good. Do you think there will be a snail sne sequel, sne a snail quill? A snail quill? Will there be a snail quill? Or a pre-snail pre quill? <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I don't, we'll see, you know, my, my main objective was just to make this a satisfying experience in its own right, and I think the characters are super fun and appealing, and it leaves you with a thirst for, for more of them, so, yes. so that's, that's, uh, that's task number one. We've had a Shrek theme, uh, Halloween theme show, and I feel yeah. like I want to do a turbo one this year, and if you watch the film, you'll understand why I want to be, this will make sense, White Shadow. <laughs> it won't make sense now. Where'd you go? But I want to be. Where'd you go? White Shadow. Okay, speaking of, did you see our see snail you. race? You can still <laughs> see me, see? Did you see our snail race? Were you impressed? I did. It was pretty epic, uh, especially in uh, you know, just fast saying. forward mode. There was some, there was some contact. See, what, see what's happening there? Yeah, there was serious that. contact. He tried There's to throw me off. There's a little skirmish right there. There's a skirmish? But I took the title. Yeah. Right? They're, you can tell they're Canadian because they're like, they're body checking like <laughs> hockey players. <laughs> Well said. Okay, guys, you can actually meet the awesome David Sword tonight at 6.30 if you were lucky enough to score passes to the screening at Young and Done with James Hinchcliffe, who was just on the show, another great Canadian guy. Also, make sure you tune in to Sportsnet, the exclusive Canadian broadcaster of the 2013 Honda Indy Toronto, taking place at Exhibition Place beginning tomorrow through Sunday. And are you going to be there as well with the drivers? Uh, hopefully. Yeah? Hopefully, yeah. My... Uh... I've been on a, on a crazy schedule recently and have to get back for a Comic-Con next week in San Diego. Did you so. do some racing? I got to go on one of them. And? I got to go. Uh, I will never do that again. <laughs>
Never again. I agree with you. <laughs> I feel the same way. Yeah. I also partook in one lap, and that was plenty. Yeah. Anyway, check it out, guys. It's such a feel-good film for adults and for the kids. And don't be ashamed if you're an adult for a ticket for one, because you'll enjoy the ride.